Okunumi and Kiribayama. They're both three and one, both going okay. They've met five times in the past. Kiribayama a slight edge, three to two. He wants the left hand inside. This man wants the right hand inside. Matanis! Left hand under the arm, pit by Kiribayama, thrusting to Okunumi. Now he gets his favorite grip, left hand in. Nothing with the right from Kiribayama, blocked by Okunumi. Now he's got a nice solid grip. And also, whilst it's not his favorite grip, a solid grip for Okunumi. He twists one way, tries to get a, a stronger grip on the Mawashi with the right hand instead of a loose grip. Now he goes strong. Kiribayama digs in. Veteran waiting for the right moment. Here it comes. He takes him to the edge and takes him down and out. But this might be a little closer than we think. See the mark on the ground there? I'm just worried about the foot of Okunumi. Did he go out first with the right foot? We've got a mono E. Let's check the foot. It's not touching yet. Yes, it is now, though. So I'd say this is going to go the way of Kiribayama. We noticed Okonomi's toes stepped out first, so the winner is Kiribayama. Yes, Isamayashi. The forward step out. So that's a, not a technique, it's a way of losing for Okonomi. But the win goes to Kiribayama. He's four and one. Okonomi now three and two. Disappointment. He was in a winning position. Just a lack of concentration at the edge by the veteran today. What's the foot there? It's out first. Now Onosho and Chio Tairu. Both men struggling at one and three. Seems to be lacking in confidence. When his confidence is high, he's normally doing well. Chio Tairu. Well, he's a bit hit and miss. Some days he's really dynamite, and other days he misses with his thrusts. <laughs> Shoulder blast. A little high in the touchy eye there was Chiotaru. He missed the thrust. Basically went past Onosho's head, and Onosho, solid footwork, wins. Drives forward to win by Yorikiri. So it's just his second win, but it was a positive one. There's the body slam. Now watch this, the two-handed thrust by Chiotaru straight past the head. And he goes deep with a Motozashi and wins by Yorikiri. Takanosho and Koto Eko. Well, he had that exciting bout yesterday. He's still winless. Is today the day? This is his uh, easiest opponent instead of rank. This is Koto Eko, Mike Shooter 4, who's 2 and 2. Fast away today is Takanosho, slipping to the side. Koto Eko, nice solid inside position, Takanosho. Taken back, taken back. Inside grip with the right hand, can't do anything with that. He pivots away and does win going backwards by Hataki Komi. So there's win number one for Takanosho. Redemption from yesterday, I guess, in some ways. He was oh so close in getting the win, but just missed. Otoeko drops to two and three. Now it's the retreating. I thought it was going to be Katasukashi here, but Otoeko lunged forward and it became a slap down. Hataki Komi. On the dojo, Wakataka Kage and Daesho. There is the man. His 200th career bout today. Shin Komasubi. Take some Daesho, who once again is a bit like Takanosho. Went close yesterday. He's also winless. Oh, big touchy eye by Daesho. He lunges forward, got Wakataka Kage in the run, almost runs out of the dojo, but now he recovers, rallies back and wins. That is huge.
And a nice round of applause for the efforts for both men, but Daesho comes through to pick up his first win. And Wakataga Kage drops to two and three. Another scary moment for Daesho, but he recovered nicely to rally back for a big win. He wins by frontal thrust out. A frenetic bout going the way of Daesho. Well, unfortunately, we have another Kujo, a hamstring, left hamstring to Endo, and he's out of the tournament. Three weeks recovery required. So it's a Fasencho, the way of Mitakeyumi. So Mitakeyumi moves to four and one, the Sekiwake, one off the pace. Takayasu and Meisei. Sekiwake and Shin Komasubi. They've met five times before. This man's won a couple in quite exciting fashion, his two wins. Takayasu, good to see him back. Seems to be moving quite well. Fast away, may say, but he doesn't move Takayasu back and gets a pushing and thrusting going. But then Meisei rallies, he sets it up and takes down the Sekiwake. Okataskashi. Under shoulder swing down win for Meisei. Well, the run to Ozeki looks tough now. It's basically three losses for Takeyasu. Meisei picks up his second win. Important for Takeyasu to get as many wins as possible, close to 10 if possible, or 11. But today, he really counted well from the Tachiai. Meisei started well, but then the Sekiwake Takeyasu came back with a good pushing attack, trying to get the right hand inside and the left, and Meisei slips to the left, gets Takeyasu a little bit off balance and straight up. So now Meisei takes him back, slips to the side and gets the arm under the armpit right there and executes the kataskashi, the under shoulder swing down. Beautiful move by Meisei. The Ozeki and the Maegashira three, Terano Fuji and Hokuto Fuji. He's off the alcohol, staying focused. And he's on 399 career wins. He takes on a vibrant Hokuto Fuji, who's three and one. Passed away, Okuto Fuji slips away to try and swing down Terano Fuji, who wraps up from the right. Awkward position here, the one on Banzai position for Okuto Fuji, can't do much from there. And the Ozeki wins by Kotonage. Win number 400 in his career. And keeps him perfect at five and zero. Okuto Fuji three and two. He is an awkward opponent, Hokuto Fuji. Because he constantly moves. He normally attacks the throat and then a Hazawoshi from the left. He pulls there, tries to retreat. But he's followed well by Terano Fuji. Jumping on the one leg. Now he starts to move forward. He gets Hokuto Fuji with this left arm high in the air. The one arm bonsai, as I mentioned. And from here... He just sets up nicely, locks up the arm, the right arm with his left, swings away, and there's the Kotenage. The win for Terano Fuji stays atop the leaderboard. It's Shodai Ozeki taking on Tobizaru. They've met twice, and this man has won them both, but he has lost his last two bouts in this tournament. Needs to get his day one sumo back. Tobizaru, one and three. Hey! 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 
uh, straight into the chest of Shodai and then retreats and pulls on Shodai. Shodai pouring away at Tobizaru, who's just trying to escape and trying to set it up to take Shodai back. He takes Shodai back to the edge, gets in lower, uses the head and forces Shodai high and out. Oh dear, oh dear. Shodai, three losses in a row. And the first time Tobizaru has beaten Shodai. Yeah, disappointing. Only two Ozeki in the tournament now, and only one of them doing well. Well done, Tobizaru. Two and three, beating an Shodai for the first time. Wins by Oshidashi. A frontal push out. Literally using your head. Well done, Toby Zaru. Now the second of our bouts of the day. Hakoho was Dohyo Sai when he saw Terano Fuji go to five and zero. He takes on Ichi Nojo today. They've met 15 times. Hakoho's won 12 of them, but it's been two years since they met. July 2019. And in that tournament, Ichinojo won. Big bout coming up for both men. Not a cat and mouse kind of man, Ichinojo. That was just a false start. He won't play games. It's just got to get the timing right. Away they go. Solid left hand outside. The Oppa's going to take him back. He's solid right. Goes a bit shallow. Now left hand in, right hand in for the Okazuna. Takes Ichinojo high and out. Win number five. Now two men share the lead. Hakuho and Terano Fuji. Ichinojo, he drops to three and two. It's great to see him back. And great to see him doing well. Now, it won't be perfect every day because he's got to be rusty. But today, raises a sweat, beating the big man, Ichinojo. Very important movement here by Hakuho when he wiggles the hips going backwards. And that changes the position. Gives him left hand in and right hand in deep. There's the wiggle. Then presses against Ichinojo from the left. Ichinojo can't do anything from here, he's retreating. And out he goes, Yorikiri win for Hakuho. Two men lead the way. That man, Terano Fuji, along with, of course, the Yokozuna Hakuho. And there are seven men with one loss doing the chasing. Well, we knew that they'd be the two most important in the tournament, but this early, come back tomorrow for more Grand Sumo highlights.